welcome back. In this episode, I'm going to take a little look at how we get the whole project off the ground, how we get started, how we import the files, do a little bit of housekeeping and, you know, get ourselves a little launch pad for the whole project. Let's see what we can do there. I'm using, I've got a couple of versions of Unreal Engine installed right now, the 4.26 preview and the 4.25 release candidate or the released version. I'm going to use that because it's uh, a little bit more fluent and stable. I find on the previews, there's always a little bit of debug information in there. So it's not, you know, it's not as swish as it could be. I'm in my Epic Games launcher here. I'll just go click that big yellow button launching the latest version of Unreal Engine. And eventually we'll get to this selection screen here that says select or create a new project. I'm going to go and create myself a brand new games project over here. Hit next. And I'm going to use the third person template here. That gives us the gray Unreal guy or nicely hooked up. So we're going to go start with that. Hit next. I don't need any starter content. I'm going to bring in my own content and I'm going to call this one character selection. Unreal Engine thinks about this for a moment, discovering asset packs. I don't need to have any plugins available for this. So the first thing I'm going to do is add my sidebar here just by clicking that little icon. And I like to make the icons at the bottom here a little bit bigger. Just because, you know, I'm old and all that. This, my eyesight is failing and all that. So it's, there we go. Before I bring in any of the... No, actually, let's let's do that now. Let's bring in the Cinti content. I'm using the one from the Marketplace, the version from the Marketplace. That is under Library. So that is when you've purchased the Cinti Asset Pack from the library. Scroll down to here, to your vault. And that lists all the assets that you own. So mine are called Polygon something. There we go. I have a couple of them. These both were free on the Unreal Marketplace a while ago. So I can just add it from here. I'll show you also how to do this if you haven't bought this from the Unreal Marketplace. There's also people who've bought it directly from the Cinti store and or from the Humble Bundle. Search for your project, which is character selection, and just add that to the project. So it's very nice how they've integrated that in the launcher here in the whole vault thing. Let Unreal Engine do its thing. And there we go, it's complete already. So now I've got my other folder here, which is Polygon City. So if you have this from the Cinti store or from another source, you usually have a zip file, you unzip it, and then there's an Unreal project in that. Then you open that up, Unreal Engine may ask you to convert it to the latest version. And once you've got that project open, you go and right click this folder here that says Polygon City, and then head over to Migrate and then you migrate that project into your new project. So just like I have, create a new project, then launch the Cinti project as a second instance on your computer. And on that second instance, you hit migrate and then select your, your current project. So like I'm doing right now, hit OK. And then you pick this, the, the location of where your new project is, your new third person project. You'd select OK, Unreal Engine will deal with the rest and you can close that whole instance down and then just work with one. That's that's the best way to do it. Either way, you get the Polygon City asset packs here with all the materials and the meshes and all the characters. And we're going to deal with all that in a moment. For now, I'm going to do a little bit of housekeeping. I like to do that. So close the Polygon City folder down. And if we look closely, we have a geometry folder. We have a mannequin folder. We have a third person folder. And we have a th third person BP folder. All of these are there's, there's a little bit much. We don't really need all of them. So I like to do a little bit of housekeeping. Totally optional, but you know, I, I do recommend you do it. So in here under geometry, we have one folder that's called meshes. I'm going to go and left click and drag that over to third person BP and move that whole folder here. That's all this uh, demo geometry here. Once we've done that, we can go and delete that whole geometry folder. Say OK. That's one folder less. Then there's another one here, which is third person that has another folder called meshes. And since we already have a meshes folder down here, we can just go and select all of these now with left click and shift, and then just go drag all of these into the other meshes folder here that we already have. Move that here. Great. Now we can delete the third person folder as well and the meshes folder inside it. Great. We're left with third-person BP, 
which contains a blueprints, a maps, and a meshes folder. And that's good. That's kind of what we want. We've got the third person character in here. So let's just go and click play and see if the project actually plays properly. Click the window, F11 will maximize this. And now we can walk around with Unreal Guy. That's perfect. So this is a good starting kind of a launch pad for our project. If everything looks the same in your project as it does on mine, let's get on in the next video with tweaking the Unreal Guy and retargeting his animations to the Sinti characters and make sure we can actually walk around with the Sinti characters. Join me for that in the next video.